Why, hello, YouTube modeling community. That's right. It's a fat man from Alabama coming to you from Don's Garage. Well, this is a little update on the little 32 five window coupe from AMT that's been fighting me tooth and nail on and off for <laughs> we're pushing a four year project here. And nothing special is primarily box stock. Um, I'd work on it. It would frustrate me. I would box it back up, put it back on the shelf, forget about it for a day or two or six months, and get it back out, work on it until it frustrated me again and would repeat the process. So I have got it painted. Uh, you've seen the video where I had clear coated it and there were some issues, you know, and I had to wet sand it and all that. I wet sanded it and I got the working on it here and there and I was like it's too plain it needs some decals well I got the decals on it and soon the black wall tires ain't working so I fixed that and but I got the bumpers hung the body is done as far as paint work it's uh, I'll be putting the glass in it later also installing the interior for the last time I hope and gluing it to the chassis this time um, I mean this thing is a couple hours away from being finished uh, I never there's been a lot of times I thought I would ne never see the day that this car would get done so I'll start this off with if you like what you see if you don't like what you see hit the like hit the dislike button your choice Drop a comment down below. There we go. Down below. Uh, if you don't like what you see and you want to make a comment, that's fine. But let's be adult about it. If you like what you see, please drop a comment. I enjoy reading them. Uh, they make me feel good. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with typing a couple of words in. Make a guy feel A-OK. -okay. If you've got a shop card and you'd like to do a shop card swap with me, Hey, here's my card. There's my email address. Email me at that one. Put shop card to subject line, and we'll shop. We'll swap shop cards. So, let's get this thing out the way. There it is. This is Apple Barn Cobalt Blue with U Pole Urethane 2K Clear. Uh, the white walls are hand painted. These are the tires that's been on this car for yeah, a couple of years now. Um, like I said, I was looking at it and just the black walls were not working for me. The front ones would not come apart. I was able to, the rear tires are hollow, so I was able to slip them off the wheel, paint them, slip them back on with almost without incident. Uh, they are not perfect. In fact, they're gonna photograph and video a lot better than they look in person. But, like I said, it's a shelf queen. It'll look good there. So, we'll give her a little spin around here in a minute. Uh, went through the decal box, found some pinstriping for it. And the first one you see is that little one right there under the door handle. Uh, we'll get a close-up of that here in a little bit. Let's give this thing a little turn around on my whirly jigger as my brother Glenn has to, uh, says often it's uh, a bare metal foil to grill took my Tamiya panel liner did a wash on it uh, it came out pretty good you can see there's another pinstripe decal on the end of the hood the headlights did not fit quite well they are not real straight they're close but we're not going to drive it at night. So, it's all good. And we move on around. Like I said, I got the bumpers on it. I'm back and forth about putting a front license plate frame on it. I mean, here in Alabama, we only have to run a back a rear tag anyway. So, and like I said, there's another pinstripe right there. I did paint a line the doors and the deck lid. Um, I'm starting to like that a little bit. I'm an old guy, I resist change, but I'm getting there. 
Um, as you can see, we got a little, pretty good size, little pinstripe on the back. Uh, I went with the 39 Ford standard tail light, the teardrop. Um, I did put a tag mount on the back. I am currently working on making license plates for my cars because I want an Alabama tag that's personalized. Uh, of course, I got the rear bumper on it. Uh, I'm I'm getting getting satisfied with this little car. There's a little bit I got some kind of contaminant on the car just prior to putting the clear coat on it, and I got a few little craters right in here. I'm not happy with them. I don't know if I'm gonna leave them or I'm gonna try to rub them out. I'm back and forth, and that's extremely difficult area to sand on this car. Um, done been through it once. Let's set the let's peel the hood off of it. I'll give you a closer look at the pinstriping on it. But there it is. Uh, the paint's very shiny. Um, it's kind of slick. Uh, I could cut and rub it and get it a whole lot slicker, but uh, I'm really not into doing that. It's not going to see a show table. Uh, just an old shelf queen. Uh, you know, we'll see. I've got to paint the back side of the grill shell. Uh, that's where I mounted it to, to paint it, but the underside of the hood's all nice and slick and shiny. Well, nice and shiny. It's far from slick. Did it work? And well, let's see. Let's slide this thing over here and I'll get the body off and show you some more of the little intricate decal work. And you can see I put a little decal, pinstripe decal on the cowl vent. You can tell it's got a little black wash around the roof insert. Um, there's the decal. Better look at the decal on the door. And let's see. See, this is why I'm really not considering rubbing it out. Ah, up oh, there it is. Uh, you can see the craters in the in the clear coat like I said I am seriously considering living with it um, there's the pinstriping on the deck lid come on hot there it is the tail lights they're actually from the kit uh, they had a Spot to make a blue dot, so a little Tamiya clear blue for the blue dot, a little Tamiya clear red for the lens. There it is. Relatively attractive. Um, I missed one little spot right here. I chipped the, I chipped the white paint, and I just want to focus through the car instead of on the car. Anyway, there's a little chip right here on the top of the firewall I'm gonna live with it hood's gonna be on it 90% of the time or more so in putting the bumpers on this thing uh, anybody that's full with this or any other pre-war car with these little bumpers uh, you know how big of a headache they can be what I've done is I sanded the paint off of the surface mounting surfaces on the brackets Scraped a little bit of the chrome off the bumper and scraped the little mounting pegs. Got the bumper, scraped the little mount. You can you see them there? Anyway, there's a mounting peg right in, <clears throat> right in here. Scraped the chrome off. Got everything glued together. Then I went back with a small, very small paintbrush. Um. And went back over with a little bit of black paint to finish the edge off. I used a Molotov pen to touch up the uh, mounting points to the tree right here. It's not perfect, but it works. And, of course, did the same thing on the back. Um, the tag mount, it was a last-minute decision to put it on. 
So I just took the bottle of Apple Barn paint, brush painted the bracket blue, or the plate blue, then painted the uh, mount point uh, black. When I was done spraying clear, I had a little left over. I brought the jar over here, broke out a paintbrush, and wiped a coat of clear on it just to make it shine a little bit. Once I have a license plate for it, I'll put the tag on and it'll all be good. And there's a close-up of the white walls. I've got to clean them up yet a little bit more. Um, that was not, this is actually probably the better of all four. Uh, they would have looked a lot better had they not had that molded in lettering. Uh, you know, I've got to go, I got a little paint on the edge of the wheel I got to clean off. But I painted these with Tamiya White. Then once I got them covered good, I took some Tamiya Flat Clear in the jar and just brushed a coat all the way around to kind of dull them down. But I got some edges here to clean up. I got a little off, off register here. There was a little line around the tire I was able to follow. So that's how I done it. They are not perfect. Uh, in fact, this one's a little uglier than the other one. Uh, like I said, I'm going to go around with a Q-tip and clean the edges up with a little bit of lacquer thinner. The rears, I'm very happy with. The fronts, I'm 50-50 on. Uh, but there it is. I mean, this little car, the goal is literally, by the end of the week, this one I'm hoping is done and sitting on the shelf. We will do a final on it, along with my Pro Street Group build car is like 85% done. I've got a short list of nine things I've got to do to finish the car. Uh, the list was 12. I knocked out three of them just a little while ago before starting to record this video. So, make a progress. I'm going to be about six days past the deadline on the group build, but I'm going to finish the car. I'm... Once I got clear on it, mocked it up, well, actually before I put the final clear on it, when I mocked it up, it really lit the fire. Um, it all of a sudden is taking on the look that I had my head list the roll cage, and it motivated me to get back after it and finish it up. So, <laughs> hmm, excuse me, fellas, a little dry mouth here. But, well, there's the 34 so far uh, like I said I believe this one may get finished up this week I did a video on how to cut glass one of the glass I cut is for this car uh, they've got to be polished on a little bit I got to coat them with uh, future floor wax or actually what have I got here oh I'm sorry pledge revive it stuff works great uh, it's also getting hard to find at least here in Alabama so well, there's my 34 so far. She's, I can smell the finish line right now with this one. Uh, with that being said, fellas, I'm going to close this video out. Uh, the little challenge video I dropped this morning has gotten some great response. Awesome comments, guys. Love you all for them. Uh, made me feel really good today. So, like I always say, fellas, live, love, and laugh. Build that model for you. Take care, everyone, and I will see you again real soon in the next video. Bye.